In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to flip this house, to add furniture, lighting, and set the mood. Colorize this 1920 picture, make him older, a superhero, and the CEO of the year. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We're going to start by going to Google and search for Nano Banana AI and click on Gemini 2.5 Flash. That's Nano Banana. And now you are in Google AI Studio. Scroll down the page. If you don't have an account, click on Sign Up to get started. Inside Google AI Studio, you're going to see the prompt box and many other different features that Google AI Studio has to offer. In this tutorial, we're not going to focus on any of the side menus. Basically, this lesson is all about Nano Banana and how we can manipulate images. Just remember, this is your Google AI Studio dashboard. Now, let's use a default prompt to create an image of a banana wearing a costume. Nano Banana generates this image of the banana wearing a costume. Now, let's close the window here and try something else. Now, we're going to ask to remove the cape from the banana. And the cape has been removed from the banana. Here's a picture with the cape. And as you can see, there's a blue cape in there. And in this picture, the cape has been removed. As you can see, in every changes we made, you get constant character. And character has not been changed, unlike other AI image generation tools. Now we're going to ask to remove the custom. The custom has been removed. Now let me zoom this out. As you can see, everything has remained the same, but the custom has been removed. This is what Nana Banana is all about, about consistent character and not changing everything else, even when you're making small changes like removing the books. As you can see, the books have been removed. Let me close the window and let's try something else. Let's add an apple to this picture simply by adding an apple. As you can see, apple has been added. We can add other objects like an orange. And voila! orange has been added and everything stayed the same nothing has been changed in the background and even the banana itself is still at the same position and this is why people start using nano banana to create and edit their images now we're going to create an old scratchy image or picture from a man from late 1920s and this is what we get a man from 1920 and looks very authentic. The stores, the hat, the suit, the tie, everything looks like 1920. Now we're going to colorize it. We're going to add color to it. We're going to ask Nana Banana to do it for us. And here's the colored picture from 1920. So if you have old pictures laying around somewhere from your parents, grandparents, you can actually restore and color it using Nana Banana. Let me show you something cool. You can actually ask Nana Banana to do a side view of this picture or any picture you upload to it. And here's what we get. The side image of this person. We can do also other positions like the back photo of this picture. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Let's close this window and do something cooler. Let's ask to do the top view of this picture. This is amazing. Now let's ask to give us the aerial shot of the top view. And here's what we get. We get the entire street and here's the man standing right there. Now let's close this window and do something else. 
Now let's paste the first colored picture here and we're gonna ask Nana Banana to make him smile. The result is amazing and very natural. Now let's ask Nana Banana to remove the hat for us. And within seconds, hat has been removed. Imagine doing this in the old Photoshop. Now, the new Photoshop also is equipped with Nana Banana, the beta version at the time of this recording. And it soon will be available in all Photoshop versions. Now let's modify the background. I'm gonna ask to add a barbershop in the back of this person. And as you can see, barbershop has been added. The before picture just was a shop and now there's a barbershop. That's how easily you can modify the picture in any way you want. Let's close the window and do something even cooler. Now let's change the color of the tie from red to blue. And here we have it, blue tie. Trying to do this in ChatGPT will give you each time a different character with a different position and different environment. Let's change the background. Let's put a Golden Gate Bridge behind him. Hmm, it doesn't look too real, but we just wanted to change the background. And this guy has a full body here. Let's give it the full beach background with the sand and everything. And here we go. And let's do a close-up shot of this gentleman. Here we go, a close-up shot. And let's do another one without the background. Now this looks very professional. Now let's make him 25 years older. Now he's much older than previous picture. Let me zoom the picture so you can see the grays and everything looks 25 years older. Let's change him to a 75 year old man. And now he is 75 years old. You can see more wrinkles and also his neck looks much older. Let's close this window and do something else. Now let's switch platform. Let's access Nana Banana through Gemini. This is not the same as Nana Banana inside Google Studio dashboard. When you see 2.5 flash, that means it's Nana Banana. You can upload his picture and a picture of Mark Zuckerberg on the Forbes magazine and let's name him Jack and put him on the Forbes magazine. Now let's make him the CEO of the year. And here we go. He's on the Forbes magazine as Jack, the CEO. Now let's make him a superhero. And here we have it. Jack is a superhero and a CEO. Now let's create some neon signs. I created this in Nana Banana, but I'm going to change it to like and subscribe. And the prompt simply says, change the text to like and subscribe. This is amazing. See how bright and nice this sign is. Now let's remove the eye and heart sign. And here we go. We just got the like and subscribe neon sign. And that's the power of Nana Banana. I created this picture in Nana Banana. Let me get the side view of the soccer player. Here's the side view of the same picture. Let's add some motion blur trails to this picture to make it more sport illustrated style. And here we go. Here's our motion blurred object. Now let's give it a comic book style, you know, with all those zoom style lines around the corner. Perfect. See those lines around the corner? That looks like a comic book style. Now let's create a city of San Francisco in 1940 in Market Street. And here we have it, 
1940 San Francisco Market Street and that tower in the background is the World Trade Center. You know, I grew up in San Francisco. Let's add color to it. And here we go. We got the colored version of that black and white. Perfect, isn't it? You can do this to any black and white photo and vice versa. We don't get any snow in San Francisco, but let's add snow to it. Wow, this is the first snow in San Francisco. Let's change the season to fall. And here's San Francisco in the fall time. You can also remove people if you want to, but we're just going to keep it the way it is right now. Now we're going to ask to create a 2D whimsical illustration of this dinner plate. As you can see, we got the illustration and it looks like those areas are outlined and hand drawn. Now let's get to the best of the best. Let's say if you want to remodel an old house, something is demolished like this. I create this picture in Nana Banana, but what we're going to do is we're going to remodel and fix it. The prompt says fix and clean up this room ready for painting and remove all furniture. So in this picture, the damaged area, the ceiling has been fixed. The furnitures have been removed and is going to be ready for the next step. Now the prompt says paint this room light gray walls, white trims, and white ceiling. Now, the picture shows here the everything has been painted, but the ceiling still has some shadows from the beams. We're going to fix that later. I'm uploading a picture from a fireplace and a TV. I'm going to simply ask the prompt to add this to our room. And here we go. We got a TV and a fireplace. Now, let's fix the floors. I'm going to upload a picture of a room with a nice laminate, a gray laminate. I'm going to ask Nana Banana to do it just like this picture. And here we go. We got the gray laminated floors just like the picture we uploaded. And now let's fix the ceiling color. We're going to reference the picture. I took a picture from a ceiling, a white solid white ceiling and I'm going to ask Nana Banana to do the same for this picture. As you can see the ceiling is white and we're going to have Nana Banana to use the same color. I also ask to use the same color for the walls too. And here we go. We have the new paint job and the ceiling has been fixed. Now let's fix the windows shades. I'm going to be uploading a picture of a shade that I picked from the internet. I'm going to ask Nana Banana to apply the same shade to our room. Now, here's a picture of the room with the newly added shades. Doesn't it look perfect? You can make so many changes in any picture before you even redesign your room. You can actually try every furniture, every lighting, and every piece of object in this room to see the final outcome before you start your remodeling. Let's add some furniture. That's perfect. Let me zoom this picture here and you can see how nicely the furnitures were arranged inside this room. As I mentioned earlier, one of the reasons people use Nana Banana is because it's consistent between changes. Let's add some light fixtures. Nicely done. We have fixtures and we have the recess lighting. I just let Nana Banana do all the work because I didn't ask for recess lighting. I just asked for light fixtures. But you can always include that into your prompt exactly what you want. You can also ask Nana Banana to change their lighting mood to 10 a.m. or 6 p.m. I hope by now you have a clear understanding what Nana Banana is and what you can do with Nana Banana in your future projects. This concludes our tutorial and introduction to Nana Banana. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.